Welcome, in front of me is an Infinix HUD 12i and today I will show you how we can go through the setup process of this phone. So when you boot it up for the first time, you'll be presented with this screen right over here and first step would be to find your desired language assuming it is not already selected. Now for me it is, so I don't need to do anything extra, but assuming you need to change it, just tap right over here and find it from the list. Select start and this will take you to the next page where you get to select your country. Now I don't think it has much of a difference what country you select, might it just be a time zone kind of thing but still uh, if you connect to network time zone will be set automatically anyway so this is kind of nonsensical here. Uh, so I'm just gonna tap on whatever. Now next page we can insert a sim card, truth be told you can insert sim card at any page and it won't change almost anything. The reason why it just shows up at this point is because inserting a SIM card along with uh, connecting to network as one of the two options uh, that later on allows you to log into your Google account. If you choose to skip both of them, then you won't see the Google login page and usually date and time isn't set correctly. Now, if you choose to connect to either one of those, uh, then you should see the Google login page and obviously date and time should be set automatically. And I'll be skipping both of them. Now on the next page we have some terms of use. Obviously no phone can go without those. So uh, I have agreed or carefully read and agreed to whatever. Now if you want to actually read what you're agreeing to, you can tap on either one of those two or both of them. And it just gives you the entire legal document for terms of use and privacy policy. Now here is the Google services. So there's three different ones. So we have location, scanning, and sending user and diagnostic data. Now you can read exactly what these do by tapping on this drop down arrow, expand the explanation, and if you don't like it, turn it off. You can turn off all of them if you want to. From there, go to the bottom, select accept, and this will take you to the next page, which will allow you to set up a screen lock. I have a couple different ways of protecting our phone. Uh, the in any case, uh, whichever one you choose, like fingerprint or face recognition, you will always also need to select a physical way of unlocking the device. So, screen lock type, you have option between pattern, pin, and password. So the reason you have to choose one of those is because if, for instance, you set up just a fingerprint, as an example, and you cut your finger, you just lost access to your phone. Or maybe you scratch the uh, sensor, which is I think at the back, yep. Uh, if you scratch the sensor as an example, uh, it might not read your finger properly. And again, you lose, you lose your uh, access to your phone. Same goes with the uh, face unlock. So that's why you have also another way of unlocking, which is physical. If you remember your pin, pattern, password, you can always access it. If you can't, then it doesn't really matter because it's not like you would be able to probably utilize the display anyway if it's not recognizing your inputs. And obviously, if you don't wanna protect your phone at all, you can select skip. Now here we have some info, so whatever. None of those really matter. Maybe the power, so eight seconds to power off the device. But the sticker, uh, I don't think the phone has a removable cover, so was well, kind of useless. Give it a one, a couple more moments and we should be presented with the actual home screen. There we go. And you can now use your phone. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.